Sunday is 7.15 p.m. on NBC. The Steelers headed to Kansas City to take on the Chiefs. Chiefs are a 13-point favorite. 46.5 is the total. It's kind of a low total to, to have somebody that's favored by two touchdowns. But we have seen this Steelers offense. They are not exactly anything to write home about. Total DVOA. The Steelers are number 24 overall in the NFL, and yet they somehow made the playoffs. And Kansas City is number 7 overall. Uh, Kansas City's offense, number 3, against Pittsburgh's defense, number 14. And Pittsburgh's offense, number 25, against Kansas City's defense, which is number 24. I, I'm i going to ride Steelers plus 13. It's a playoff game. I feel like Najee Harris has uh, has been able to run. That is the Chiefs' you know weakness. But... Obviously, I don't feel great about this. I, I just, in a playoff game, 13 points just feels kind of crazy to me. But could I see Kansas City winning this game, you know, 30 to 13, something like that? Absolutely. Uh, but I'll, I'll take the Steelers here. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to take the Chiefs, but you're right. Laying 13 points. When I saw this line, first off, all I wanted to do was I couldn't wait until Ben Ben got in the playoffs because I was just, every year, there's one terrible quarterback that you get to bet against in the playoffs, and it's free money. And it's been free money for, I don't know, 15, 20 years. I mean, just every year, it's free money. Just take the worst quarterback in the playoffs and bet against them, you're going to win money. And then I saw the Vegas had the line at 12 and a half opening up, and I thought, holy crap, they are not just letting you take free money this time. Now, they, are, they are making you work for this one. I'm Got still going right. to do it because – I, I just think this Chiefs team could score 17 and cover the number. Yeah, no, that, hey, that does Chiefs make sense. defense has been surprisingly amazing lately. No, they, they certainly have. They're, uh, they're number 20 in rushing DVOA. They're number 23 in passing DVOA. Uh, I just, uh, I don't know. I've seen so many teams be able to run on them. in Pittsburgh, you know, uh, while, I don't know. Uh, I'm looking at Pittsburgh. Well, it's, it's really hard to run on them once you get down three scores. Yeah, no, that is a very good point. That is a very so, good point. So, all those games that teams that ran on them were in really close football games. And if this is a close football game, I've lost already, so it doesn't matter. But if if they're going to run on them, they're 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 covering this number. The problem yeah. is, is what what do you do if you give up three unanswered to start the game? Yeah, yeah. No, you uh Are you are you just gonna say, Well, we run the football here in Pittsburgh and so we're just gonna keep running it, knowing that it means we can't come back. That's yeah, I I mean you do have a point here. You do have a very good point because if you go down two touchdowns quickly, you are in a whole mess of trouble because the whole game script it's it, kinda of what I talked about with Alabama and Georgia. You know, it, if if Jamison Williams stays in that game, Alabama goes up by two scores. Uh, Georgia doesn't have the ability to run the football, right? And it could be the same thing here with the Steelers because their defense is not exactly anything to write home about either. So, yeah, that's yeah. I'm I'm not going to change it's it. A big number. Uh, it yeah. might be the biggest number in playoff history. Okay, I haven't done the research on that to look that up, but I can't remember seeing many double digits playoff numbers, much less almost two touchdown playoffs. Well, that's, that's the biggest thing. Like, I, I, it's, I, I'm, a, I'm sure that we've had, like, some 10-point favorites, especially in wild card rounds. I just... But 13? 13 is, is such a massive number. I think just based on principle, I'm going to take the Steelers. Yeah. Uh, but it might just... No, pr- principle alone says you should, you should not make this bet. But... Yeah. Yeah, no, you're uh, you're right about that. All right, so I'm, I'm going to take the Steelers here. We'll move to the final game... And that has the to also to be the boringest game of the year. What, the Monday night game or the uh, or the Sunday night game? No, the Steelers game. Uh, yeah, no, Al definitely. Has, Al Michaels has to be hating his guts right now <laughs> as soon as he saw that that game wasn't going to be a tie. <laughs> no, you're, now, you're not Al wrong. Al Michaels is just he's, – he's just figuring out a way to get out of this right now. Like, can he? Can I get the Omicron? Can I, can I just stay home? Can I just I stay home? Do like I don't want to watch this. We already know who's going to win this. Uh, I mean, he gets to you know he gets to call a game with uh, with Patrick Mahomes. I guess. I mean, maybe that's yeah, worth something. Yeah, but that only carries you so far. Yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. 
Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.